Welcome to the Saddleback Library. Today we will learn about Psych Articles. Psych Articles coverage spans 1894 to present and is indexed with a controlled vocabulary from APA's Thesaurus of Psychological Index Terms. Psych Articles can be found on the Saddleback Library webpage under Article Databases. The two places you can find Psych Articles are under Databases A to Z where you can click on P and scroll down to Psych Articles or you can click on Databases by Subject and choose Psychology and Psych Articles is one of them. Here is the home page for Psych Articles. It is hosted through the ProQuest database system. For a general overview of ProQuest, please view the ProQuest video on the Saddleback Library YouTube channel. This video will focus on psych articles. As a student, you probably just want to jump into psych articles with the topic and get moving. So let's jump in. My topic is going to be classical conditioning. As I type this search, ProQuest has an autocomplete option that starts to offer some suggestions. You might want to look at this list to see if there's something related to your topic that you would rather search. For example, I started looking up classical conditioning and see an option for classical conditioning and brands. I have a background in advertising, so this seems interesting to me. I choose to search this topic. Here is my results page. One more thing you might want to do is limit your search to full text, peer-reviewed, or scholarly journals. I click full text here to make sure all my results have the full text of the article. Then I click return to do the search again. I have 176 results. Below my search results are sometimes suggested subjects. You can look here if you want to find another topic to use. Before we look at our search results, let's look at the options for sorting and narrowing results. On the side of the screen you can sort your results by relevance, oldest first, most recent first. You can also narrow your results. There are a lot of options under narrow results by. Just click the option you are interested in and see what your options are. I always check out the publication date option to see the date range of my results. After you've sorted and narrowed your results, be sure to click update and then look at your results. When you find an article that looks good to you, click the title hyperlink to look it over, or scroll over the preview button to view the abstract. If the article looks good to you, you can email it to yourself right away, or add to selected items. Adding an item means you can email all the articles to yourself at once. That is what I usually do. When I click this option, the article is placed in my selected items at the top of the page. Then I click back to results. You can see there is now a check mark next to the article and it is highlighted. You can select items by clicking this box and adding articles to your selected items. Once you have your article selected, go to the top of the page and click your selected items. From this page, I usually email the articles to myself. I click email and fill in the requested information. Under content, I be sure to pick original file format PDF video presentation as it's important to get the original file if you can. Next, I pick my citation style, the latest version of APA, and then I click continue. That covers a basic way to search psych articles. If you are looking for a specific publication, do a publication search. Under the advanced search, which I recommend if you have a detailed topic, there is a thesaurus option. Psychology is very word specific sometimes and the thesaurus can help you find terms to add to your search. Thank you for using the Saddleback Library. Please contact us with any questions you have. Visit us in the library, chat with the librarian online for a quick question, 
call the reference desk to speak to a librarian, schedule a research consultation, or visit our webpage at saddleback.edu forward slash library. You can even friend us on Facebook. The Saddleback Library. How can we help you?